Cynthia Soto from the Knights of Color. Huge pleasure to speak with all of you. Uh, mm -hmm. First off, what made this project sort of stand out to you and made you want to get involved in it? I think that the, reading the short story was just like such a delicious experience and it brings you into a world uh, and creates a tone and, and this, you know, feeling that, you know, it just feels like you want to be there and be in it and explore more about it. Mm -hmm. Every detail of the house is, is just decrepit and reeks and, and is shadowy and moody. And, and, and as Donald said, you know, what, what, what a great place to, uh, to go and have a lunch. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Maybe a bunch of fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want to ask you, you know, what are you most excited for fans to see from this project? And is there anything you could sort of tease that you're most excited about? Uh, personally, I'm most excited about I, I uh I really hope that um that we catch viewers from the start, that they invest in this family. And I really hope that that they stick with it, this journey with this family to the end, because a lot happens to them. And uh, I can't speak for this, but, but I love the way that our show ends. Um, so I really hope that- Great payoff. Uh, yeah, I think the payoff is big. The payoff is, is, is unexpected. Um, but so I hope, I hope they just, yeah, they stick, they stick around to catch the end. And besides all the great, obviously, uh, thrills and, and scares and terror that I think is both psychological and real, uh, which is, I think, what keeps you on your toes. Um, the investment in this family and the, you know, what they what they go through and how they emerge from it is really powerful, and people will also really connect with that. You know, obviously, this genre is such a popular one, especially right now. What do you think is going to uh, set this project apart and really drive home Chapel weight and get the audiences going? I would say the atmosphere, uh, the photography, and and the the fantastic performances. I mean, Emily Hampshire is is wonderful, and and Adrian Brody. I I think he's amazing. I think he's infinitely watchable, um, and and I think that will drive the show. I also think, and I think Donald touched on this earlier. Is um, it's been a while since we've seen a good old school a gothic, gothic horror gothic horror show. Yeah. And I, I know that I, I, you know, I'm being a big fan of King and Edgar Allan Poe and things like that. I, I love the gothic tone. And, and I think we really tried to do that in this. And um, from, the, from the time I read the story and, you know, Charles Boone rides up in his carriage on this hilltop on this, you know, rugged coast, this isolated, forbidding coast of Maine. And there's this old kind of stately house and you know I was like I was like there you know I love that kind of thing and I think people love going on that kind of a journey. Lastly I'm going to ask you each to pick a word that you feel describes the series as a whole. Uh, uh, well simple, I original. Um, haunted. I feel like everybody's haunted. Good one Peter true. Oh, that's a good point. Everybody. Yeah. Exactly um, right. And I guess, you know, so I would just say, um, as boring as this, gothic. I'm, yeah. Thank you guys so much for talking to me. Huge congrats on the series. And uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Stacey. Thank, Thank you. You. Yeah. you too. Thank you. Pleasure. Yeah. I so Bye. Bye.